Okay, today we're doing lesson 15, and we're going to be expressing money amounts in various forms as decimal numbers. Okay, so first starting off, we see that $1 equals 100 pennies. Okay, so 100 pennies is equal to one whole dollar. 100 cents is one hundred hundredths of a dollar. Okay, one penny, okay, because we have a hundred of them, that means one penny is one hundredth of a dollar. Okay, six pennies then would then become six hundredths of a dollar. Ten pennies, or one dime, okay, is one tenth of a dollar, or ten hundredths of a dollar. Twenty six pennies, then again, would be twenty six cents, or twenty six hundredths of a dollar. Okay. All right, moving on now to our dimes. Okay, we know that there's ten dimes in a dollar. Okay, so ten dimes is one dollar or ten tenths of a dollar. Okay. So one dime then would be one tenth of a dollar. Okay. Written just like that. Okay, and because it's money we have to get that zero in the hundredths place. So then three dimes then would become three tenths of a dollar. Five dimes is five tenths of a dollar. And then six times six tenths of a dollar. Okay. All right, moving on, we go to quarters. Okay. Slightly different, okay, because we're st still dealing with hundredths. So now four quarters is one dollar, as we know. Okay. So 100 cents is 100 hundredths of a dollar. Now one quarter is 25 cents or 25 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, and if we were to reduce 25 hundredths to an equivalent fraction, we would be able to reduce it down to one fourth or one quarter. Okay, and you know the two quarters would be 50 cents or 50 hundredths of a dollar, okay, which then would be reduced down to one half. Three quarters then would become 75 cents or 75 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, so today should be fairly easy. Just some quick review of some money. Okay, next we're going to give the total amount of money in fraction and decimal form. Okay, so we know that three dimes okay, is 30 cents plus 8 cents for the 8 pennies. So we get 38 cents. Okay, now we need to do it in fraction and decimal form. So fraction form we have 38 hundredths and then decimal 38 hundredths. Okay. Moving on to the next one, we have 8 dimes, or 80 cents, plus 23 dimes, or 23 cents. Okay. Adding that up, we get $1.03, and three cents, or 103 hundredths of a dollar. Okay. Next one, we have three quarters, which is 75 cents. We have three dimes, which is 30 cents. And then finally, five pennies. Okay, adding this all up. Okay, we see that we have one dollar and ten cents, or in fraction form, 110 hundredths. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Okay, so you can see your 38 hundredths up here in fraction form and then decimal form. Okay. We have our 8 dimes and 23 pennies, which added up to $1.03 in fraction and decimal. And then the most recent one, $1.10, when we go to add the four or the three amounts up, you get 110 hundredths. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay, moving on now to number 18. We see 236 cents. Okay, which means we have 236 hundredths of a dollar. Okay, which would then equal two dollars and 36 cents. Okay. All right, so now our next one we're going to solve and we're going to express our answer as a decimal. 
Okay. So we have two dollars seventeen pennies plus four dollars and we know two quarters gets us fifty cents. So we go to add these up and we get six dollars and sixty seven cents. Okay, and we have our answer expressed as a decimal. Okay, next one we have three dollars and we have eight dimes, which we know is eighty cents. Okay, now our second number here has got a few amounts. Okay, so we have our one dollar, but then we have two quarters, and we have five pennies, which means we have now one dollar and fifty five cents. Okay. Add up our amounts. We see we have five dollars and thirty-five cents. Okay. Moving now on to our last one here. Okay, we have nine dollars and nine dimes. Okay, and now we're adding. Now I have four dollars, but I have three quarters for seventy-five cents. 16 pennies is 16 cents. So before I write my answer over or my number over here in my number sentence, I need to first quick add how many cents that I have. Okay, and I can see that between the quarters and the pennies, I have 91 cents. So my second number is four dollars and 91 cents. Add these up. And we have fourteen dollars and eighty-one cents. So today, today should be some pretty quick review. Okay, so go ahead and take a look at that exit ticket.